Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA, and in this video we're going to be going over exporting and importing both forms and modules. We're actually going to take a form that we that I created in a module and we're going to export that, save it to our desktop, import that into the personal workbook, set up a button on our quick access toolbar. So we're going to go ahead and dig right in. First thing we've got is the our go-to form. This is just a simple form where you can go to a sheet. I'll show you how it works at the end. Uh, pretty simple, pretty neat though. We've got a module. This module could have multiple subs in it. Uh, first thing you want to do, or first thing I'd recommend is that you come in and change your name. Change the name of these. So I'm going to call this go-to mod. I'm going to hit enter. You'll notice that when I hit enter, it changed here and it also changed up here so once you hit enter you'll know that that's been changed and saved so now that we got that done we are going to we're going to export this form so first thing you do is right click on the form it's pretty simple we're gonna hit export that export form you're gonna I've just got it saved to my desktop we're gonna put it there You'll notice that that got saved as an FRM file for the GoTo mod. I'm going to export this as well. It's going to get saved as the GoTo mod as a BAS file. Now, quick note on that: the BAS file can be opened with Notepad or Notepad++. The form cannot. So those are now exported. Now, to import those, select on the select where you want them to go. So I currently have this as my VBA project, and you can really click anywhere on here and right click and it's going to click import file and you're just going to select that it's going to load that I selected the BAS file so it's going to open my mod you'll notice that it's right there which is perfect I'm going to import another file I'm going to import the FRM file and that's going to import my form and I have exported and imported those files now just a quick note on that sometimes you're when you export a form it's going to give you two form files I'm not exactly sure why that happens that's happened forever so I don't necessarily worry about it, but it, it can happen. Um, I wouldn't necessarily worry about it because when you do go to import file, it's only going to show you the ones that you can actually import. So now that we've got that set, first thing we want to do is we want to save our personal workbook or save whatever file that you've imported those into. We're going to come over here. We're going to add this button to our quick access toolbar. We're going to go to more commands. We are going to click on macros. We're going to select this one that says personal XL, XLSB go to macro. We're going to select that because it's in our personal mac, personal uh, workbook. And that will actually open every time Excel opens. I'm going to kick it over, which is awesome. I hate that logo, so we're going to change it to something that looks spreadsheet like. We're going to use that bad boy. Click OK. And then just let me show you how this works. So this is my form. And I'm going to go to that sheet. Now I'm going to hit X. We're going to click on this again. Now we're going to go like that. Now it's got both of them. And it just goes to whatever sheet I want. That is the little form. So I've exported that since I've saved it. And since I've added it to my quick access toolbar, if I open an additional workbook, so I'm going to close this down. We're going to look at the pretty parrots. We're going to save that just for fun. We're going to open Excel back up. We're going to open a new workbook, and you'll notice that that quick access toolbar is still there, and I still have my little go-to form. And if I hit Alt F11, I need to close this. If I hit Alt F11, you'd notice that that is all built in and ready to go, and awesome, and it's working, working great. Hope you enjoyed.